Water. My name I'm Braxton together as Rob and Hellish is on the Life Control Center. We are ready to go this morning uh, looking for something very much interesting. So stay with us and enjoy the rest of the morning drive. Perhaps something good will come up. It's a very good, beautiful morning. Although it's a little bit chilly, we will be trying to head more west from our property. Trying, in particular, for sure, we die to see leopards around in the area. Just come across the breeding herd of the herd of Impala at a stage. They don't have young stuff. So uh, around November there might be. So for my correction is not a breeding herd. This is a herd of Impala. Which you can see it's very very chilly today. And in the hair a little bit more fluffy. It shows it's very very cold around in the area here where we are. <coughs> So it give us more guarantee in the area once to see the impala where the last of the leopard we might try to check gently in the area if she's not been here as i said earlier on we very, we're very much looking for impala this morning we're dying it's been a few days when you come last time she had it more in the thicket we haven't able to get to see her so we want to try to get around in the area in time still fresh early in the morning it's very easy to get the tracks so here's a herd of impala it's more than 100 impala all together as the impala the safety in numbers they're living all in herds like over 100 to up to 200 so impala is a mixed feeder they can eat less grass and that is one of the reason the animals i mean are doing what the population of impala is doing well in the area because they made feed, are the mixed feeders. If they concentrate on grass or leaves only, it can be a problem because now right, it's winter, there's no much leaf activity around in the area. So really for sure, if they only concentrate on leaves, they might, we might lose quite a lot of them around in winter time. So we, they are lucky because they are mixed feeders, they can eat leaves and eat grass at the same time. We just wanna keep going west from where we are trying to look for this particular leopard we'll come back for impala in the later stage
tracks for hyena here. It's a little bit confusing. It looks like a leopard is a, <coughs> a sub other hyena. But we are in the area. Look for this leopard. It's very amazing on the ground. There's quite a lot of hyena activity. It could be something wrong in the area. We'll never know. It could be a leopard kill. It could be something happening at night. I'm sure I'm very much interesting to follow in the area. Really, we're going to follow uh, these tracks of hide in the area. The leopard was seen in the area, so we just want to try to go inside the bushes here if we can. Where the last see the youngster. So really for sure, we might come up with something good. Look like a giraffe inside the bushes there, but we're gonna drive around. The way the giraffe looking in the area, the body language is talking. It could be something around, and it's where they've left that young female here. And it looked like from here she's headed more south. She's so still on the property, so we're going to work the area thoroughly. Hoping for the leopard around in the area. Thank <laughs> you. 